Hey folks, it's Kikoskia here, with the final deck from Goblins vs Gnomes and the Grand Tournaments, Combined Card Pool. I don't know why I started there with Goblins vs Gnomes. This is my Shaman deck, and as you can see from Mooglish Champion, this one uses a lot of Inspire cards. And some Joust. In fact, there are, there is a, there are two Joust cards right there. And in fact, we're going to be playing the Gadgets and Jouster on turn one. If it wins the Joust, I get a 2-3 um, a without the uh, zombie chow drawback. And either way, I get a nice look into what my opponent has in his deck. Not that I particularly need to, as he's played a secret on turn one. There's the Thunder Bluff Valiant. Another one that uses uh, various Inspire mechanics. Let's see what you've got, sir. Do I win a Joust? Yes! Aha! So, that's now a 2-3. And when it dies, unlike Zombie Chow, it's not going to give him... 5 health. There is a Haunted Creeper. Do I want to trade into that? No. Do I want to play a Totem Golem? Yes! A 3-4 for 2, where you pay the 1 overload next turn. It's basically like the spider tank, except it um except you pay for one mana later. It's also a totem, which means it synergizes with things like the fund above Valiant, which gives your totems plus two attack. That is probably a avenge, because it hasn't gone off at the start of his turn, which means it's not competitive spirit. It didn't go off when I attacked him, which means it isn't eye for an eye. You very rarely see eye for an eye, but it does appear. It didn't trigger when a minion was, uh... was killed? Ah! He's going to... Okay, that's probably Avenge. That's most likely Avenge. Hmm. I could play around that. I could definitely play around that. But I have to hope. So if I... Basically, if I kill one of these, and then it turns out to be Avenge, it becomes a... That becomes a 4-3. That becomes a 4-4. Four, four, that becomes a 4-3 with Divine Shield. However, if I don't trade, which is actually not a terrible idea, if I don't trade, it won't trigger. So why not get 9 damage in right now. Why should I make him have a favourable trading position when I should make him trade with me? Worst case scenario is here, he consecrates. And even then, he can't clear the whole board. Okay, Blessing of Kings. That at least is going to get rid of something. There we go, so he's removed that. I could still play... Ooh. You're sort of making my job a little simpler here. You're making my job much simpler. Ooh, Manatide Totem. Manatide Totem, eh? I think I'm going to play Senjim. There is still no reason for me to trade here. So I'm just going to hit you in the face some more. There is no reason for me to trigger revenge. I do not want you to get a really, really nasty minion. I don't want you to get an 8-7 with Divine Shield. And I think you're starting to eliminate minions so that you have that as an option. I do have a Lightning Storm. I also have a Healing Wave. So you're going to do that, which is what I thought you might. Then you're going to must have a battle. Reporting for duty. Then you're going to do that. This is not going to be a particularly good turn for him. The light protects Ooh. Ooh, that is going to uh, change it a little. That is going to change it a little. You're going to trade into that? Hmm, that's a sensible decision. You're going to hit it with your weapon? No. Right. So if I were to hit that, like that. And then hero power. The alternative is that I hit this, and then I hero power, but that is 
really silly. I actually just want a 4-3 with Divine Shield here. Do I want a 4-3 with Divine Shield here? Do I really want that? No, not particularly. <laughs> no, I really don't. But do I want to play a 3-6 for 5? Do I want to instead just play Mana Tide Totem? He might have a Quartermaster here. I do need to deal with that Avenge. That is definitely Avenge. But there's no very... There's no nice way to deal with it. There's no nice way to deal with it. Okay, I'm going to have to try. That's a Taunt Totem. You know what? That's just made my decision for me. I'm going to ignore it. Ooh, Fire Elemental. That Avenge has not done anything for him so far. If that had been a... Hello, Mysterious Challenger! How are you today? That is four other secrets. So now there is a... Noble Sacrifice, an Avenge, a Repentance, a Redemption, and a Competitive Spirit on the board. <laughs> There's all of those on the board right now. So, this is a problem. Or is it a problem? Is it, in fact, now a problem? Well, we Lightning Storm. And we hope that this goes on the Mysterious Challenger. It did not. That's fine. And then that brings back the... One more with Divine Shield, because that came back first. So, now we just Hero Power. And wait. Then everything else gets plus one, plus one. Which admittedly means that we can big game Hunter the 7-5 next turn. We have enough mana to do that because we'll have 5. And then we could even coin to get the healing wave out. Divine Favor, as I thought there might be. Get loads of cards there. Let's think about this. I could have stopped a fair bit of that, but there was no good answer with the Avenge. If that had been a different secret, this match could have played quite differently. He'd probably actually have been in a better situation if it had been a different secret, because then I wouldn't have hit him in the face so much. He's considering what to do here. He does have a lot of damage. He does have 14 points of damage. If he has another Blessing of Kings, he has 18 points of damage, which is where Healing Wave would hopefully come in. Pretty good card. Three mana, you either heal seven, or if you win a Joust, you heal 14, and that is a Cog Hammer. However, it hit that one. Which he actually wanted it to hit a different one. Hello, Secret Keeper. So he still has two secrets. And that is still 12 damage. That's a lot of damage. So, what we want to do now is we want to... Ooh. First, you want to kill that. I've got the beast in my side. That's dead. And that gets reduced to one health. That's fine. Then, we want to hope that we can win a Joust. Let's see if we can win a Joust. No, we can't. It's still seven, though. <laughs> but still fine. Every little piece of uh, healing helps. Every little piece of healing helps. However, we're going to probably see Mysterious Challenger number two eventually. It is still in his deck. Or Dr. Boom. Well, I don't think there's going to be too much that's going to save me here. Hmm. Was Lightning Storming earlier a better suggestion? We could Lightning Storm now! What's the harm? There literally is no harm because he has two, five, six, seven, eight, lots. At the very least, this will deal with some of it. Well, he has a lot of damage in his hand, and even more damage on the board. I dare say, this is done. Because he has 12, 14, and then an extra 2 for 16. Oh well! This deck sort of does okay sometimes, but I'm still working on this one. But I think we'll do another one. We'll give it another chance. Let's go, Shaman. And it's a Warlock this time! Hello! Hmm, Hex, where were you last match? You were hiding away at the bottom of the deck. 
Earthshock? No. Big Game Hunter? Uh, we'll get rid of Hex, but we'll keep Big Game Hunter, because if this is a handlock, we want that Big Game Hunter. Ooh, also Totem Golem. Nice early card. Hello! Ooh, Tuscar Totemic! Also a nice early card. Now, do I want to play Totem Golem, and then not play Tuscar Totemic the next turn? I think I want to play Totem Golem. Oh, yes! Hmm. Not bad. Are you going to tap? I think you are indeed a handlock. Well, let's start taking advantage of this. I think what we do here is we, uh, Totem. We do have the, uh, Drunai Totem Carver, which would become a 6-6 six -six on this board. Are you going to Hellfire here? No, you're going to Twilight Drake. That's fine. So I think we're just going to Totem Carver here. Elements I like. Totems I love. There we go. 6-6. Six -six. And a little bit more face damage. We might as well. We have Bloodlust if he plays anything significant. So that's a 4-5. And another 4-8. Hmm, not great. Ooh, hello. Hello. We could actually do something really nasty here, but first, let's Totem Carver. Let's, ta let's Tusk our Totemic. It'll give me a random totem. It could. It could have given me the one I wanted. For now, however, let's just kill that. There we go, that's one down. This is one Hellfire that he's not going to give up on if he has it. Oh, if he has Hellfire. That's Hellfire, isn't it? Yep! Ah, well, what can you do? I had to play it. I had to start dealing with things on his board. So, we have a Fire Guard Destroyer here. A 5-6 is fine. To be fair, any of them would have been fine. I don't think I'm going to win this. Mukla might surprise me with what he could do. Is this a giant? It's a Watcher and a Defender of Argus. My yep. Watcher and Defender of Argus. There we go. What could I do here? Oh, I could hex the 5-6. I could. Do I want to? Do I want to? Hmm. Maybe? Maybe I do? Actually, I do. I do want to hex it. I do want to hex it. That's a really good totem to see. He's going to trade, but that's fine, because then I have Mukla next turn. Mukla is going to make this a little more interesting for me, but I'm still in serious trouble. He is on 15 health, however. If I could quickly get some damage in. Hello, Mountain Giant number one. You are going to die. You are definitely going to die. I've got the beast in my One down. We actually want a lot of totems on the board right now. We want a lot of totems. Because we have Bloodlust, and we have Mookla's Champion. In fact, Bloodlust might just be what we need to win here. If he doesn't have Hellfire number two, is he going to Hellfire this board, though? Oh, he put himself to really low health. Does he have an Antique Healbot? Does he have a way to taunt up? Is he going to dart bomb that? Yes, he is. Molten Giant! Right. What we're going to do here is we're going to Mookla's Champion. Actually, do we want a Totem Carver here? Do we want a Totem Carver here? Because if we play that and Hero Power and Totem Carver... He's probably going to have a big game hunter. It's better if... I put loads of minions on the board. Loads of minions on the board is going to be more scary than having one big minion. Now I can start actually just dealing damage to him. Like that. And hitting him. Do I want to hit him some more? Yeah, I do. I want to get him to as low as possible. Also, there's another card. There's another card. So I have a 4-3, a 1, two one threes, a 1-4, a 2-2, two two, a 1-3, and a 4-5. That's a lot of damage. Is he going to tap? Is he going to Molten Giant? 
Ooh, Bloodlust is going to be good here. Bloodlust is going to be good here. Bloodlust is going to be very good here. <laughs> Taunt? My shield for I could probably get through that. I could still probably get through that. I could still probably get through that. Okay, let's think about this. So the first thing we... Ooh. Oh. So the first thing we do is we do that. Then we hmm we could do this. Then we could bloodlust. That's a lot of damage. Let's see how we trade into it. So, we go I can just trade like that which kills that. We trade like this. I like that. And well played. Ha ha! Victory for the totems! Sheer damage wins out! I didn't even need to trade the, the 4 3 in. Originally, I was going to play the Bloodlust and the Mooklas, and that was a complete mistake! Ha ha! Sheer amount of damage just bursting out from all the totems. If he'd have had that Hellfire, I think he should have had to play it. Ha ha! The Shaman deck wins out against Hanlock, and I thought it wouldn't. <laughs> and with that, that is in fact every single deck. That is all of my decks. You've seen all of them. Millhouse Grand Fail, which is the one that I tend to play with a lot. And then you've seen the Secret Mage, the Druid with lots of different angles of attack, the Taunt and Armor-based um, Warrior, the Death Rattle Hunter, the Demon Warlock with loads of demons, the Hero Power Inspire-based Shaman, the Pirate Ninja Rogue. That's a lot of different things together. Pirate Ninja and Rogue. If there was Zombie Chow in there, that'd be a lot of things. And the Priest deck that steals all the other minions and uses them against them. That is all of the decks I'm currently using in the Grand Tournament. If there was a 10th deck slot, I'd probably have a 10th deck, but there isn't. So, that's all of my Grand Tournament decks. If I ever come up with a really significantly different one that uh, dramatically changes things, I will uh, do a video of it. But for now, when we come back, probably more Millhouse Grand Fail. For the gnomes need to climb up the ranks. With the help of the mighty Millhouse Menorstorm! I'm totally mighty. Definitely not, not true. That is a double negative. I know what it is. Catch you later, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.